Commonwealth versus Hayden Kilborn. Kentucky State Trooper Hayden Kilborn was arraigned Monday on assault and terroristic threatening charges. According to his indictment, he injured Robert Kidd by using a deadly weapon or a dangerous instrument. The weapon Kilborn allegedly used and the extent of Kidd's injuries are not disclosed in court records. This charge results out of the course of his employment where he's attempting to apprehend a armed and dangerous fugitive. In a written statement, KSP said Kilborn had used excessive force and was terminated on August 2nd, five days after the incident. According to court records, in July, Kidd fled police in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Police said he was driving a stolen car and wanted for other crimes. Court records show Kentucky State Police used stop sticks to spike Kidd's tires at the 44-mile marker on I-71. According to Kilborn's police report, Kidd fled and resisted and was tased. Kilborn's report claimed Kidd was a convicted felon and had marijuana inside the vehicle along with a handgun and bloody suitcase. Robert Kidd. On Wednesday, Kidd was back in court. He had been held in the Carroll County Detention Center since his arrest in July. The special prosecutor in the case decided to not present Kidd's case to a grand jury and asked for Carroll County charges to be dismissed without prejudice. So, all charges do you want for Commonwealth? Yes, and I filed Mr. Taylor's letter. Is he the victim in the... Uh, yes. yes. Okay. It's all dismissed, sir. So, we are not holding you anymore. I think you'll be sent to Oldham County now where he's got over. Good luck, Mr. Kidd. Kid is now in the Oldham County Detention Center. He faces charges in Oldham and Bullitt Counties. Craig Cheatham, WCPO 9 News.